All right, welcome back. This is part two of my off-grid solar shed. As you can see, we got this thing lit up. Let me take you through a recap real quick of what I've got going on. This was a kit shed I got from Costco. Um, I bought these solar panels from Bouge RV. They're 200 watts each. I bought a mounting kit off Amazon, put it up on the roof. It came out great. Uh, there was a bit of a learning curve. Uh, it's wired down here to a DC isolator, it's called. Basically, it's just an off switch, so you can disconnect the solar from going into the structure. Um, I grounded it with two copper grounding rods, which is important, and you'll see why. Um, let's take a step in. So, I went with the Blue Eddy. Um, it's called the A200L. It's brand new, and I'm really happy with it, especially after I had a little bit of an issue with a different model I bought from a different company that ended up returning. Um, let me show you how this thing works. Okay, let me light this unit up and show you what we got going on. I'm taking in 293 watts from my solar array and putting out 76 watts into lighting basically in the shed. This thing is super quiet. It's amazing, especially when I compared it to that previous unit I had. Um, let's see, the other inverters you can turn on. This is for the DC and for the USB uh, outputs. I don't use them, so I leave them off. On the left side over here is all your inputs. That's the solar going in. That's where you would connect expansion batteries or to charge it from the wall. That's the DC output. You got a cigarette lighter there and a 48 volt, which takes a special cord you gotta buy separate. There's the USB connections. And then most importantly for me, the AC output. This is uh, rated for 20 amps. So you see those are 520 outlets. Um, I use the RV30 plug and it's still 120 volt but it's nice because it's rated for 30 amps which is basically overkill um, and that's kind of how i built my whole system and it goes down into that um, inlet basically it's a generator hookup to power the shed this is a what's called an l 1430R. It's a twist lock. You can use it for 240 volt or 120, which is what I'm using it for. And it powers the circuit breaker. Um, it's only going to power half the breaker though, because uh, it's only 120 volt. But that's more than enough um, circuits for this. That's the solar coming in from outside from that DC isolator. And then here's the, the load center, like I mentioned before. And that's pretty much it. That's what keeps this thing running and off grid. So the next goal is to turn this into a wood shop. I'm gonna build a deck off the side and I'm gonna do it all with that uh, Blue Eddy. Take a look at the lighting here. You can see how smooth it is. I'll show you compared to the other unit I had and why I returned it. So let's take a look at why it's important to ground your off grid structure. This is a Klein receptacle tester. It'll show you the voltage and if your wiring's correct and it is displaying there's an open ground, which it should because all of these, uh, including generators, have what's called a floating neutral and there's no ground protection. So when I plug this unit into my structure that is properly grounded, it's gonna switch and show that it's correct. So let's see what happens. And there we go, we are properly grounded. So this is the Pecron E1500 LFP. It was the original unit and I really liked it. Uh, it gets good reviews online, but unfortunately mine just had some quality control issues that I think slipped through the factory. Mainly it made the lights flicker really bad and it made an off-putting noise. So uh, if you are interested in getting this, it is a good option. It's quite a bit less. It retails around 900, whereas the uh, Blue Eddy was about 1500 um, It is a smaller battery though. Not by much, but it is smaller. Here is the light flicker. It's kind of hard to capture on camera as well as in person. Uh, you can see it a little bit there overhead. This is a little bit more clear if you look against the wall. It did that for every light I tested, and I tested a lot of lights. Um, I worked with their tech support 
and they were really helpful, but we couldn't fix it. And then here's that noise it puts out. Enough of that, back to the fun stuff. Here's the Blue Eddy running this chop saw. It does great. This is me testing out, getting ready for that deck I'm gonna build. The only downside is units this big typically will not run the larger table saws, like the contractor style, the big ones that live in your garage. The portable ones, they should do no problem. All right, that's all I got for now. Please leave a like, feel free to subscribe, and I'm gonna start working on a video of me putting this deck together to show you guys. I hope you all have a Merry Christmas and enjoy your holidays. Thanks.